Okay. Uh, I have already uploaded the past recording. If you want to review it, it's already in our regular class. No? Uh, where's the regular class? Okay. So our past recording is there. This is what? 4 does what? 100. So it's already there. No? And then uh, I also have the recording yesterday of our second topic for the, the other two sections. By the way, uh, I'm already giving you an assignment to do, no? This is the programming exercise on the analytical engine. We are going to describe it today, no? Okay. So, ganito yung gagawin. This is due on Monday. That's uh, August, August 1, okay? Before 8 a.m. You're going to write a, a program that will... <laughs> Compute the sum of the first four numbers without loop. And then write a program that will convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. I'm going to give you the template anyway. No? And then write a program to compute the average without loop of the three numbers. First three numbers. No? The same way you write a program to compute the average with loop of the first three numbers. I'm going to discuss them no? shortly now on how to do it. Okay? So you, have, you will have to pass this before... 8 o'clock on Monday. Okay. I think this is already open. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Last meeting, we discussed the brief history no? during the early, how the computers came about, how a com com the, the idea of computers came about. And we know that the first okay, design came from Charles Babbage of Cambridge University. He's a mathematician and professor. No in Cambridge University in Great Britain, okay? He designed the analytical engine, which was first considered to be the mechan first mechanical general purpose computer. No? And then followed by that, no, his work was recognized by another mathemat mathematician also from Cambridge, Augusta Ada King, Count Countess of Lovelace. No? He she published no, certain algorithms or we what we call now as computer programs. No? intended to be carried out by the analytical engine. And she was able to demonstrate this particularly with a program involving the Bernoulli series. Okay, Bernoulli series. She was able to demonstrate that the invention of Charles Babbage has many other practical purposes, uses. No? It can be used for solving mathematical problems. And in 1884, no? on the field of recording, Herman Hollerith made an improvement of the jacquard loom. It's called the punch card tabulating machine. It, this is time this is from the US. He later invented, rather founded the tech giant IBM. Okay. So the IBM punch cards, they look like this, no? Ito, no? It's an 80 column card where each column, okay, each column can store any digit from zero to nine, depending on the what is being punched, the corresponding quantity is also represent or are recorded. No? They follow. So this is a punch here. So this is a uh, number three. There's a punch here. So this is one. No, and then in this column there's a punch four, uh, six. No? Okay. So this column there's so that's how it's it, it's recording. No, this was used for uh, recording the. U.S. Census done during that time because during those times, no, the, there were so many immigrants to the U.S. such that the U.S. wanted to account for all people who are who will, who will be their citizens. No? So they made a, a census, no? nationwide census, and the recording medium that, that was used was the punch card tabulating machine invented by Herman Hillary. Okay? Any questions so far? Now, the most Im important invention during that time was Charles Babbage's analytical engine. The important question is, what did he invent? Okay, what did he invent? The second problem will be, how will it work? Do you follow? That's what we are going to discuss today. We are not just going to mention events because, as I have mentioned earlier, no, we are interested in the evolution, no? how the machine evolved to be what it is now at its present state, okay? How the computer evolved to be at its present state. Excuse me now. 
so if you look at your ano if you go to your Daigler's class there's uh, the design of the analytical engine okay so there are uh, two main components no of the analytical engine this the input to, to the engine is usually a formula and data there are two sets of in, input no formulae and data okay the data is provided by punch cards using jacquard's loom okay the machine would also be able to punch numbers onto cards to be read in later so it has the capability to save data on on punch cards and now it uses a uh, 10 decimal fixed point arithmetic later no we will uh, describe what fixed point and floating point representations are and differentiate the the, no, the representations what's the pros and cons of a uh, uh, fixed point and floating point okay so the first component main component is called the store nowadays we call it the memory okay the memory can hold up to 1000 numbers each of 40 decimal digits Do you follow now uh, during that time no the actual implementation by charles Babbage, babbage is a smaller version no, of the the analytical engine they follow this is the version no? uh, it's a smaller version because it can only solve or accommodate 20 decimal digits no? but it still follows the same concepts no concept Let's look at a jacquard loom. Okay. So the input jacquard loom was used mainly as an input device. My, my, we want the colored one. This one. This is the jacquard loom that is used in the analytical engine. Do you follow? Do you follow? So this is the mill. This is the jacquard loom. The jacquard loom stores the program. Okay, its command in a program is being stored in a punch card, and this punch card will be used to process to do processing in the mill. Uh, the store, as we call it, you no, know, is as in in modern times we call it as memory. Now the mill in modern times we call it as the CPU. Okay, any questions? You follow? So yun yung, ano, that's how it looks. This is the jacquard loom. This is the mill. Okay. Now the mill would be able to perform arithmetic operations, no? Plus comparisons and optionally square root. It can also do shifting. Now when you shift a number, a decimal number to the left, you are multiplying it by 10. When you shift it to the right, you are dividing it by 10. Okay. It's like the modern computer CPU. Okay. It has internal procedures to carry out some of the complex instruction that the program or the algorithm might specify. Do you follow? Any question? So that's what was invented, no? The mill and the store. Now, how will it work? Okay, that's the next question. How will the machine work? We have two sources here. Programming the analytical engine from Stanford, and then we have here the the analytical engine programming card. Okay, tanba mas maganda. Ito muna, no? The analytical engine. This is how the mill looks like, no? Ito yung mill. We'll separate this. Ito yung mill, no? You follow? Now, if you look at that, there are several columns. Can you still still see? Let me just move this. If you see, there are several several columns. Particularly, there are four columns. Each column is a set of twenty rotating gears with numbers zero to nine. Okay, they follow like the arithmeter or the step reckoner, no? The gears. Okay, the first set of gears is called the prime ingress axis. I think it's this, no? It's not very clear in the you know, but one of them is a prime ingress axis. It contains 20 gears. Each gear can store can represent one number. And then ingress axis one, ingress axis two, ingress axis and in prime ingress axis. 
Do you follow? What are these axes or columns of uh, gears are for? Okay, can anybody tell me? Uh, the first three columns, particularly ingress axis one and ingress axis two, is used to store the input. Ingress means input, incoming, ingress. That's, I think, a, a Greek word, no? Greek or Latin. Ingress, which means it's going in, inside. Okay? So it's an input, no? So if you are going to multiply, add, subtract, or divide numbers, the first parameter is on ingress axis one, and the second parameter is on ingress axis two. Okay? Now, there's a prime ingress axis because uh, Charles Babbage intended to use the analytical engine to be able to do 100-digit division by 50-digit division. So there's an additional no, set so that it will to accommodate no, larger numbers as the first parameter because when you divide, you usually divide a large number with a smaller number. Okay. Now, there's a prime egress axis because during division, no, the remainder, the remainder, the last remainder will be in the prime egress axis. Do you follow? So, ito yung the real machine, ito yung uh, logical diagram, excuse me. Now, the cards, where, where do we get that? Meron pa tayo dito? The card loom. Ito. This is a modern version of the jacquard loom. Okay, the, the threads are hidden. But the later version, but the, the actual version is like this. This is the actual version of the jacquard loom. Do you follow? So these are the cards. The cards are used to store the program. They will be processed by the mill one command at a time. Okay? Do you follow? So these are the cards. What will be there in the cards? There are three different kinds of cards. Operation cards, number cards, and variable cards. Do you follow? It's also here, no? Operation cards, number cards, and variable cards. Okay? Do you follow? So a chain of cards are put into the jacquard loom. Okay, and they are processed individually. They are scanned individually by the loom and processed by the mill. Okay. okay. So what are uh, operation cards? Operation cards can, can contain at most four holes. Operation card, can we have that? Do we have an actual one? Ganito. Do you follow? Okay. Pero ang dami, no? But at most, there are four holes. Okay? In an operation card. Okay? The location of the hole uh, identifies the operation to be processed. Okay? Do you follow? Bakit subura ng apat? No? Because there are other operations, no? Like uh, square root, shifting to the left, Shifting to the right, no, moving forwards, counting backwards, and counting forwards, no. But mostly there are four. The location of the hole identifies the operation to be done. Okay. <coughs> number cards. This represent fifty columns, no. Let's look at number cards. So, ito yung number card. In Charles Babbage engine. Ito. Okay. They contain how many? 50 columns of 10 possible punches. So, uh, 50 columns. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 lang ito dito. No? Maybe the, the first column is for the sign. That's why this, this is 11. Okay. So, 50 columns ito lahat. Which means that there are 50 cards, no? And each can store 
uh, each card can store uh, 10, 10 digit, dapat 40 digits eh, no? 50 digit, digit decimal num number. But the original design is only 40 digits. Okay? Do you follow? So, the number cards are used to store numbers. Okay? To, to be uh, to save to memory. Okay? Variable cards. Let, let's look at a variable card. Any questions? Dapat konti lang yung variable. Wala example na. No? Of a variable card. Okay, ito yung sample card in the, ano, in the jacquard doom. This is a numeric card because it can store different uh, symbols. No? There are 50 of these. No? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50 sa isang ano. Okay. Any question? So there's no example of a variable card. But anyway, the variable card okay, can contain uh, variable movement operations. They usually are two operations. No? Load and store. L stands for load. S stands for store. When you say load, we are going to load a value from the card to the mill. To the mill, one of the one of the columns. No? Ingress, usually ingress axis. And then store is used to transfer a value from the mill to the store. Okay. Particularly the egress axis. Okay. Here are examples. No. When you say N001, 500. We are, this is an assignment statement. N is a numeric card. Okay, do you follow? Any questions? When you say N001, we are assigning variable 001, the value 500. It's like an assignment statement in a modern programming language. Program, no? computer program. When you say N002, we are assigning the number 30 to the variable 002 or address 002 in the store. Divide means do an operation. When you say L001, this is a variable card. We say load the number at 001 in the ingress axis 1. The first load goes to the ingress axis 1. The second load goes, goes to into the ingress axis 2. So in this example, we have the series, divide L001 and L002. This means L001 divided by L002. Okay. The variable L001 is divided by the variable L002. Okay. But L002 loads the number to ingress axis 2. Okay. And then there's print, punch the corresponding result to the next card. Okay, and then uh, bell, ring the bell that it's finished. They call it the wake up bell because most probably it is used to wake up the sleeping operator. H holds the engine. Okay, we will, we will have a, a, a fourth factorial demonstration no? later. So this is how the programming operation was described. No? Okay. Okay, so ganito daw. How are the pro... Usually, the analyst, There's a, the programmer then was called the analyst. He is the one who prepares the logic of the program by storing them into punch cards. Do you follow? Nowadays, you write your program using a, an editor, right? During those times, the programmer writes the program by preparing the punch cards. The programmer was called the analyst. And then the analyst will submit, okay? the program to the engine's human attendant. So there's a human attendant who examines it for possible errors. And once they're found to be correct, okay, the attendant will now load the set or the deck of cards in the chain assigned, in, in, in a chain assigned in the jacquard loom. 
So dito ilo-load na niya. Okay? And begin the process by processing the commands one by one no? in the jacquard loom. Now, upon reaching the end, okay, the engine may be halted by a bell. Okay? And then before and then a halt. Which pauses the engine and requests the attendant to take some action. That's why there's a bell because the, the, the attendant may get bored while waiting and may fall asleep. So there, therefore, there's a bell to tell the attendant that the program has reached termination. Okay. Okay. So on or on, on in another way, no, the human attendant may be busy doing other things while waiting for the program to finish. Okay, so there's a bell so that to tell to 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 get the attention no, of the waiting attendant and look for the possible result. Okay, they follow. There's the same example N001, N275, N203. No, okay. Now let's look at an actual program by any questions. Let's look at the actual program by. Ada Lovelace. Okay? Nandito rin yan sa ating. No? Ito yung kanyang worksheet. Oh. Si Palo. Sort table of al algorithms. And uh, maliit lang. There's a very small snapshot of the actual program. Let's use the other. Two hundred years. Two hundred years back. Four hundred years. Sixteen hundred. Here's the actual worksheet used by Ada Lovelace to implement the Bernoulli series. So if you take a look, there's a times, I know, no, and there are the variables that are used. IB1, maybe it's input variable one. No? IB1 times IB4, whatever it is. No? And these are the variables used. Okay, the, and there's an explanation of how uh, the, the result is, the, is computed. And the output will be stored here. So do you follow? Now, this is a very messy worksheet because this is done manually. During the, that time, there's no Excel. Do you follow? So in our case, we will be using Excel. No? Instead of using a manual worksheet, we will use Excel. You can download the fourth factorial program here. So this is an example of uh, the, a program called the Ford Factorial. Okay, this is without clue. Ito yun, I just copied it from the book anyway. No, what is a Ford Factorial? What is the result? What is the Ford Factorial? What is a factorial program? Let's erase this. So ganito, this is like uh, Ada Lovelace worksheet, no? Okay, they follow. Done in Excel. Okay. Any questions so far? What is a fourth factorial? What is the factorial of two? What is the second factorial? Anyone? Anyway. Two, sir. What's the first factorial? One. One. Very good, no? Because when you say the first factorial, you say one times one. When you say the second factorial, we mean one times two. Okay? So the fourth factorial is 24. Why? Because we have four times three times two times one. Four times three is 12 times two is 24 times one. That's 24. You follow? So we now have here the meal. Okay? This is the meal. Ingress axis one, ingress axis two, ingress axis. And we have here the store. And it's... Uh, 
component in the store is labeled V0, V1, V2, V3. Okay? Or sometimes ST00, ST001, no? Store 001, okay? Do you follow? And we have a slight remark here. This is the program, the fourth factorial program. V00 here is used as the next multiplier. V001 is the decrement and V002 is the partial product. In the end, we will have the final product in V002. Okay? So are you ready? Let's trace this. So the first card we have is a numeric card, N004. What does it, this mean? Okay? The value of 000 is set to 4. No? That's an the numeric card is an assignment statement. Do you follow? Any questions? So it puts the value four here. And the next one is N0011. Where will we go? So this, this becomes one. Assignment statement, no? Numeric cards are assignment statements. N0021. So this will also become one, which is in incidentally our first partial product. Okay. Any questions? So the next card is an operation card, right? Times. So we have times L002. The first L, it goes to the ingress axis one. What is L, what is 002? One, so therefore the ingress axis one will have one, okay? The second is L000, L00 is four, so we'll have four. Right away, no? Right away, after L0, the second L, the output will be computed and placed into the ax the egress axis. Do you follow? The output will be computed and will be placed into the egress axis. So therefore, the output is one times four, so the egress axis becomes four. I oh, wrote, sorry, four. One, where's that? Okay, do you follow? Remember L is a variable card, which means load. Okay, any questions so far? And then the next is S002, which means that the egress axis, which is at this time four, will be stored to variable two. So the variable two will now become four. Any questions? Any questions so far? So I hope you follow, no? Now the question is, the next is minus another operation card followed by a variable card. L000, what will be the value of ingress access one? Anyone? What's the value of this column? Four. Four. Uh, zero, zero, zero. This is zero, zero, zero. This will be four. That's correct. No? Thank you. No? Okay. The second L goes to the ingress access two. What will be the value then? Anyone? One. one. Why is that? Because variable one is now currently one. So right away, it will be subtracted. Four minus one is, what will be this value? Three, sir. Very good. Three, no? Okay. Three. So, and then we will have S000, which means that the result, well, where will three be stored? Here. Now this will become three, which is incidentally is our Next multiplier. Remember, our first multiplier is four. The next multiplier is three. Our first partial product is one. The next partial product is four, okay? Do you follow? Any questions? What the, what the next card is an operation card followed by a variable card. What will be the value of egress access one, ingress? Here? Anyone? Four. Four. Four, no? Because... 0, 0, 2 is 4. Ingress access 2 in this in this case. What will be the Three. value? 3. And what will be the result? 12. 12. Okay. And then we will store it to 0, 0, 2. 12. Okay. Do you follow? So the first step, the times here, computes the partial product. And the minus computes the next multiplier. Okay. Sorry for that. Okay. I'm sorry for the disturbance, no? In a way. 
I will set that off later. I hope it doesn't annoy. So this computes for the partial product. The minus computes for the next multiplier. Okay. L zero zero zero. What's this? Three. Three. And L zero zero one. What's one? Let's look at that. One. One. It's always one. One. I think. Three minus one. This becomes two. Two. Okay. And then we'll store it to zero zero. So this becomes two. Right. This is the next multiplier. Okay. Do you follow? Now we proceed to compute yes, partial product. What will be this value? This is 12, right? 12. And this is 2. 2. And this is 24. Okay, and, and this is 24. Do you follow? And then we minus L00. What is L00? 2. 2. This is still a 1. This becomes a one, and this becomes a one. They follow. We complete the last operate multiplication. Okay, so this is twenty-four. This is one. So this is twenty-four. So this is twenty-four, right? Okay, twenty-four times one, and we will have. I oh know. Sorry, dito pala sa baba, no? Twenty-four, and we will have a print. Okay, punch it. To the last card and then bell and hold. Do you follow? Okay. So you can download this worksheet, no? By the way, from our daily site, it's here, no? The fourth factorial program for the analytical engine. Do you follow? Now we will we look at the next version, which is a version with a loop. Okay. The advantage with the looping version is it can be used to compute. The factorial of any number. So in this case, uh, n is set to initially 0, 0 to 4, so it will compute the fourth factorial. If we we'll make it 5, it will compute the fifth factorial. If we make it 10, it will compute the tenth factorial. Okay? Do you follow? No? But before we proceed, okay, I'd like to uh, introduce a new instruction no? by. Uh, a, a new component of the of the analytical engine, which is called the run-up lever. My lever, what's a lever? It's like a toggle switch, no? Okay. okay. Uh, where's the description? The run-up lever will be toggled depending on the result of the last operation card. Do you follow? Like this, CB11. May kulang itong kanyang program. No? Kulang ng isang minus dito. I have made, I had trouble with this with the other class last time. May kulang ng minus dito. Anyway, I've corrected that. No? So in your case, you just put the minus here before. no. Dapat may minus dito after SB0. When the last result of the, the egress axis, if the last egress axis is a negative, that the runoff lever will be high or will be one on, it will be off if the last result is a zero or positive. Do you follow? So one minus four will set the lever as one. One minus three also set the lever, but when you say one minus one, that's zero, that will set the, lev the lever off. Okay? Any questions so far? So which brings us to the fourth factorial with blue. So you can use five, no? In this case, six. It will compute anything. You know what looping is, right? Everyone? What is looping? What is a loop? A loop is a certain part of a program which repeats depending on a condition, diba? There are two types of looping conditions. Condition for termination or condition for continuation, no? When you say condition for Continuation, the loop will repeat if the condition is satisfied. Condition for termination, on the other hand, will terminate the loop if the condition is satisfied. Do you follow? This is an example of a condition for continuation. Okay? You're do doing programming right now, right? In your other class, introduction programming one. No? 
So you will be discussing looping there. We will also do that again, no? Because we'll have some programming towards the end of our course. So N004, which means that this will become four. Any questions? N0011, this becomes one. N0021, this becomes one, okay? So variables reach up to 999. Okay, so the next card is a, an operation card, times. L002, what's the value of the ingress axis? One? Huh? One. One. Kasi one, you know. L000, what's the value of this? Four. 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 And then what will be the, the value of this? Four. Four. Okay. Now, uh, bakit wala akong anon? I'm sorry, I didn't. Ah, mali yung pinuntahan ko, no? I'm sorry, mali. Uh, it should be here, no? Ito pala, no? Can you still see the worksheet? Can you still see the worksheet even, even if it's a little smaller? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 411, no? 411. So times L001. This is 1. L0004. This is 4. Okay. And then this is four. four. Now the run up lever will become zero. Any questions why it's zero? Sir, back it's sir. Kasi yung egress access positive. Okay. Do you follow? Yes. Mas positive yung egress access zero siya pag negative one. Okay. Can we proceed now? S zero is one. So this will become four. Okay. Okay. Shall we continue? Minus L00. What will be this value? Four. Four. L002. One. One. Four minus one. Three. Three. This is the run up lever is zero. Okay. S000. Zero, zero, zero. So this will become three. Do you follow? Sir, I have a question po. Yes. Can I ask po if why, what is the reason why naka-switch yung partial product dito and de decrement compared sa other worksheet? Uh, it doesn't matter. You, it's just a programmer's preference, no? Pwede mo namang uh, okay. eh, okay? Diba? When you use a variable in a programming language, you can name any variable you like, right? Ha? Huh? Pwede mo namang baligta rin, Pwede mo naman, you can, you can invert, no? This is just a... Uh, yes, sir. Kasi sinunod ko lang yung sample program, okay? But actually, you can switch the variables depending on how you use them as long as your logic is correct, okay? We follow, so we have the V00 as 3. The next is a minus. Now, the minus will check. We'll prepare for the condition for continuation because we have your CB. CB is a condition for termination, a rather continuation. It means count backwards 11, it me which means that if the run-up lever is 1, it will count backwards. It will go backwards 11 steps. Do you follow? So before that, let's fill this up. L002, what's the value of this? 4. L002? 002 is 1. 3, 1. 1. L000? 4, sir. 4. 3. 3. 3. 1 minus 3. Negative 2. Negative 2. So what's the run up lever? 1. 1. 1. 1. Kasi negative yung egress axis. Do you follow? Now, we say CB11. What will it do? Will it proceed to the next or will it go back? Go back. Sir. Go back because the run-up lever is one. one. How many steps will it go back? Eleven. So we Eleven. Know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hanggang dito siya. This is the head of the loop. This is the tail of the loop. Do you follow? Okay. So it will go back. So we'll have a second, second pass of the loop. The last values being. Isulat natin yung last values because 
so that we don't have to scroll up. Okay, this is a three, this is a four, this is a one, right? Uh, let's move this. So it, this worksheet is already there filled up, no? In our regular class. No? Okay, the next card is a is an operation card. Times, okay. L001, what's the value for this? Four. L000, value is? Three. 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 Four times three? Twelve. Okay. Rap lever is zero. Okay. And then we say S001, so this becomes 12. Do you follow? Diba? 12 yes. The next is uh, another operation card. L000, what's the value of this? Three. Okay. L002, what's the value of this? One. One. Okay, so this will become two. two. Okay, two. The run up lever is zero. zero. S000, so this becomes two. two. Do you follow? Okay. Then we'll have L002 for a minus. L002 is a one. L00 is a two, right? Two ito? Yes, sir. So one minus two is negative one. Do you follow? Yes, negative one, right? So the run up lever will be? One. 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 Okay. okay. Now, CB11. What will we do? Move forwards, move backwards? Backwards. Backwards, backwards. 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 Eleven. Eleven times. One, two, three, four. And in short, it will go to this, no? Okay. There's a missing minus in the actual sample, no? Itong minus na to. Okay. So we have to record the last values. The last value for this is 2. This is 12. This is 2. This is 1, okay? We follow para. We don't have to scroll up. Okay? Times. Okay? L001. This is? 12, right? Um, L000, this is 2. two. Multiply them by 2, this becomes 24. Run up lever is 0. Okay? And then we S001, so this becomes 24. Do you follow? We're, we're really writing a pro program, right? This is what Ada Lovelace did, no? Created a worksheet to demonstrate that she can write an algorithm here and trace the program, and it will follow a logic that will solve the problem. Okay, follow a logic that will solve a problem. It's programmable, in other words. Minus L000, zero, zero. Zero. this is, what's L000, zero, zero, zero? two. Okay, L002 zero, zero, is a, what's zero, zero, 002 is a one. Okay, two minus one, this becomes one. The run-up lever is, Zero and restore it to L00. Zero, zero, this becomes a one. Okay, we follow and then we'll have a minus minus L002. Zero, zero, L002 zero, zero, is a one. One L00 zero, zero is a one. one. Right? One now. Yeah. One minus one is zero. Zero. So the run up lever will be zero. Zero. Do you follow? So where will we proceed? Backwards or forward? Forward. Yeah. Forward. So we will print. What will be printed? Uh, in this case, zero, no. But anyway, what's going to be, we are our final product is in V001. We will print, we will bail, and then we will hold. And that computes the port factorial in V001. Do you follow? Sana lalagyan pa natin dito ng ano? Ang load. Ang load to, to load to the egress axis, but that, that's too complex anymore. This is just the example, the actual example written from the source from Stanford University. No? Do you follow now? So, ano pala yung e-print niya? Yung e-print niya yung egress axis, oh? no? but in this case, uh, 
We are not interested in what's being printed. Basta we know that the final product is in ano, 24. You follow? But you can make a logic that will set the... Ano, pwede mo namang i-multiply 1 man ito, di ba? You multiply V001 here like that. Pwede kang mag X times... Pwede ka mag-times ng L001. Okay, and then uh, L00, di ba? Pwede ganyan. So this will be 24. This will be 1. This will be 24. Before you will have a, a, a PBH. Mali. Dito pala yung 24, no? This will be 1 and this will be 24. So that when you print, it will print this, no? Okay? So you can add this if you like, but that's optional, no? Because the actual program didn't show that. But for me, it should have that something like this. Okay? Nagdagan na lang kaya natin, no? I'll just update it later, no? Kaya ba natin? Dagdagan ko na lang. Ayo. Ano muna tayong mag-copy? Okay. I'll just copy this. At lagyan ko na lang din ng ano. Ito before we do that. No? Insert. Okay. Tama na ba? And then, we'll just copy this. Anyway, this will be executed at the last part. May follow? That's more like it, no? The actual source did not show that, but we'll just put this there so that the actual uh, egress axis will be printed. Do you follow? So I'm going to upload, by the way, no? Upload ko muna, no? Uh, sir, yes. Okay, quest question. Yes. Sa akin yung CB, CB question mark 11 ganing apart. So like end of the loop man as yan, no? No, go back to the loop. I go back. Oh, yeah, it's so, the tail of the loop. Yeah, it's the tail of the loop. So like kaning sa imo kay ning murag na reach ni mo ang baba, so, then proceed na ka sa another pass na pud. Pero like in like an example like for real mag answer na mi. So like mag loop mi balik balik until ma positive siya. Yeah, until mas zero or positive. Ah, okay. 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 Wala. Because that's... Uh, bakit nagbago ito, no? Sir, excuse me, sir. Yes. Go ahead. Kano sa ito mag-on, sir? Kanang mo go backward o mo go forward? So may ilhanan na, sir. If the command is CF, that's go forward. Do you follow? CF means go forward. CB means count backwards. But usually in a loop, we'll use CB. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. So let me just update, no? Update ko lang, no? Okay, bago ko malimutan. Update ko lang yung ano. Kasi... It's really what the source is, you know. So, hindi niya sinusulat ng maayos, no? Remind me if I spill over the time, no? 
Eh, last time nagkamali ako, nagsumura ako ng oras. Okay. Delete ko na lang muna. Okay. Ah, sorry. Hindi na gano'n. Okay. So, I have updated the worksheet. So, you can download it from there. No? Any questions so far? Let me check. Time. Hanggang 10.50. Okay, we still have a time. No? Anyway, if you're done, we'll just finish. Any questions so far? <clears throat> so, uh, your program will be this, no? Write a program to compute the sum of the first four numbers without loop. You can use the program for factorial without loop, right? What's the difference between factorial and the sum of the first four numbers? Anyone? Multiplication so, ang multiplication operation sa factorial. So, sum plus. Diba? You can use your logic there. And then you write a program to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. This is the formula. Save it to sheet 2. And then write a program to compute the average of the first three numbers. The average of the first three numbers without loop. What's If you know how to compute the sum, can you compute the average? Yes. No. You just divide the sum by the numbers. Okay, and you will get the same as the average. Now, this time, write a program to compute the average of the first three numbers with loop and put it in sheet four. Okay? Any questions? I will give you a template, of course. The template is there already for the fourth factorial. Now, uh, I have another example, another example for computing Fahrenheit to Celsius. Right? Okay, simple examples, no? Okay. Meters to feet muna. Okay, meters to feet. Okay. Do you follow? We are con converting 4 meters to feet. What's the formula? Meters times 3.8 equals feet. They follow? So for N004, so we have this as 4. This is our meters value. N0013.28, this is our multiplier. And N0021, you just have it there. No? Actually, hindi naman yung ginagamit. No? And then the next is a times. X lang ginagamit ko. No? Times L00, this is 4. L001, this is 13.2. And then we store it here so that we'll have some storage. And then we'll say... PBH. No? So the last ERES axis will be printed and the bell is, is rung and then a hole. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Excuse me a while. Huh? <coughs> so ganun kasimple, no? Now, this is uh, meters to feet. Can you reverse? Feet to meters. I think that's not an assignment, but that's easy to do, right? No? Balik ka rin mo lang naman yan. Instead of multiplying, you divide. Okay? Any questions so far? And then we'll have Fahrenheit to Celsius. So what's the formula? Subtract 32 from degrees Fahrenheit. The result, you keep it in mind. You multiply it by 5 and divide it by 9. You got cel you got Celsius. And so the, and what's the point? And, uh, the result, keep it in mind. And you, you, you have the Celsius equivalent in a way. For short, no? Okay. So we, have, we are converting Fahrenheit 132 degrees to Celsius. So N00, oh, that's 132. N00132. N0025, this is 5. And N0039, ito. 
So the first is subtract 32. So minus L00, which is 132 and 32, which, which gives us 100. Okay. Okay. Do you follow? And we store it to the value here because we, this will be our result. Then we multiply it by 5. We store the value here. And finally, we divide it by 9. We store the value here and we call a PBH. Any questions? No? ST ito dito, no? Actually, for the store, but you, you can rename it as V. Because the uh, Ada Lovelace used the term V. IV means input variable. Kaya lang di, I'm not sure. Or WV means working variable, no? Ganun yung notation niya, no? That's the notation used by Ada Lovelace when she wrote the first programs on the analytical engine. Remember, no? Who's the first programmer? Ada Lovelace. No? Ada Augusta Lovelace, Countess of, uh, Countess of Love, Lovelace. No? Countess of ano? Byron. Augusta Ada King, Countess of Lovelace. Ah, yeah, Countess of Lovelace. Augusta Ada King. Augusta Ada King. So A-A-K, no? Countess of Lovelace. No? In Great Britain. Okay. So remember this now. This is the meal. Okay. You have this. I think this is one, two. This is the prime ingress axis. This is ingress axis one, ingress axis two, ingress axis, prime ingress axis. Do you follow? That's the meal. Okay. So any questions so far? No. That's that that brings us to the end of our schedule for today. We'll do some storytelling the next time around, no? We look at the story behind Ida Lovelace and uh Charles Babbage, no? And we look at what followed after Charles Babbage. Do you follow? Tingnan natin and then later we'll also be looking at the invention of Alan Turing, no? And the Atanasov Berry computer. And we look at the life of Alan Turing, no? And then we look at the next invention, the next, the first electronic computer, okay? Because uh, the, uh, the analytical engine is mechanical, right? And the first electronic computer in the early 1940s, no? Before the war, it was finished after the war, no? And then we look at the design of INIAC, like we look at the design of, you know, we will try to show that it has similarities. No? It has very close similarities to the analytical engine. Why? Because INIAC is also a decimal computer. No? Electronic lang siya, but it's really just like, to, you know, uh, sim it's really similar to the analytic engine. That's why... During those time, uh, times, Alan Turing described these uh, inventions as nothing but uh, remakes, nothing but remakes of Charles Babbage's first invention. He criticized it to ni Alan Turing, you know? Do you follow? Because they claim to be the first, but according to him, according to Alan Turing, no, you're not the first. Charles Babbage did, did this first. And then we look at, no? A very important, no? Uh, Discovery, which is the IAS. Okay, this is the foundation of all binary computers. The inventor was John van Neumann. He is now considered to be the father of modern com computers. No, modern computers because all machines are now fat patterned after the Princeton classic. Eh, no, because John van Neumann teaches at Princeton. No, so this is the Princeton class machines, which means that all computers nowadays belong to this class of computers. We will look at the IAS machine instruction, the diagram, and we will have programming again. No? For, I, for IAS, we'll have the fourth factorial, we'll have the sum and average, no? and the others. No? Ihide ko muna ito. Para, you'll, you'll have to do this. No? Okay. Sum and average. And then we look at another computer, which was the foundation of modern 
PCs, no? The PDP-1. Kasi computers no, during those days were large computers. And PDP, DEC, no? Digital Equipment Corporation. Introduce a series of computers that are small computers. They are uh, called mini computers, no? So meron ding factorial program on the PDP-1. We'll hide this. Factorial program with loop. No? And then the, the next is the IBM series, the IBM 701. Okay, we will really look at the evolution no? until we reach the microcomputers or the personal computers. After which we look at the history of the IBM PC. Okay, and then Microsoft Windows, the internet, and so on and so forth. No? And then we will have our first formative assessment. No? Okay, I will give you a practice test. No? Don't worry about the study guide or the pointers. I'll give you a practice test. Any questions so far? Any uh, questions? Sir? Yes. Any ano lang sa uh, Excel? I'll say functions of PBH. P means print. B means bell. H means halt. Gamito na mo na siya sa pag... Ano yes, mo the, sa... the last part of the program should be always PBH. Di ba? Pero like, uh, pero like, gamito na mo siya. Yes. All programs should end with PBH. Di ba lo? Okay. Kasi hindi siya mag-end. Without a halt, it will not halt. Di ba lo? There should be a print to print the result. And there should be a bell to wake up the sleeping operator. Okay. Because after the program is finished, the, pro the operator must have slept in boredom. Do you follow? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Because it's a very slow machine. Okay. Okay. Any questions? Okay. So you have no, uh, a, a few days to do. This is not a very difficult uh, no, assignment. You can just do a little tweaking of the sample program. Okay, and of course, you love to study the logic. Okay, so if you have no questions, we'll end at this point. No, thanks for coming, everyone. I'll upload the recording shortly. Okay, did I miss anyone else? 29 na pala lahat na sino hindi ko na check, sir. Excuse me, sir. German, sir. Please don't. Reason, okay. And the lang. Pang close ko muna, no? Close this. Doon makil. Wala na. Here ka. Did I close it? Four does one hundred. One oh one battalion. We on C. Yes. Anyone else? Lim, sir. Pabila. Pabila. Advincula. Campos. Jimena is already here. Jimena? Yeah. Persolov? Joas? Lim? Lim, sir. Yes. In Angel? Litob? Litob? Morandante? James Paul Paul. Okay. So, bye everyone. Thanks for coming. See you next time, Thursday. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Thank, you, sir. Thank, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, sir. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.